Alex writes, I have always been curious in regards of good CGI, CGI between movies and TV. Does the TV production use the same equipment as the movies? If they do, why put so much money into CGI if they're both using the same equipment? Love to hear from you. Thanks, and keep up the great work. Yeah, basically, they are using the same equipment. That's not really where the expense comes from. You know, there's a difference between CGI and television and movies. Like, for instance, last night we did our Flash recap show, and a uh, little bit of a spoiler for those of you who watch Flash but didn't see it last night, just a little bit of a spoiler warning. At the end, King Shark shows up. What? Like this 15-foot tall, like, <laughs> walking great white shark. Really? Does he have legs? Yes, he has legs. He's got the, legs, but also the fins of a the, shark. The face of a shark. And the face of a shark and the, and the body, like, huge body. I and, would thought they'd never have that character. Are yeah, you serious? And, and he's there. Wow. And we all went, and for the, the CGI looked amazing. Now, when we said that, understand, we're talking in the context of it looked amazing for television. It didn't. If we were comparing it to movie standards, no, it did not. It would have looked really cheesy. But for TV standards, it was quite impressive. The big cost difference in CGI and stuff like that between television and movies isn't which equipment they use. It's the amount of man hours that go into it. Because with a movie, you can know a year in advance. This is our movie. We, this is this one, two-year movie. These are the shots that we're going to need, and you can start in. With television, you're putting together, in the case of The Flash, 20, 22 episodes of the season. you got to move a lot faster. You cannot put all the energy and effort into that shot and those effects that you can with the movie. you got to move a lot faster, use a lot less manpower, use a lot less manpower hours, all that kind of stuff. And you end up with stuff that looks nowhere near as good as the movie thing. But if you watch television in that context, it's fine and it works. So we saw King Shark on Flash and went, that looked awesome for television. But yeah, I, it looked out. So that's really where the, the big cost discrepancy comes from. Shep, you've had a little bit of experience in this type of area. What would you say to that? Yeah, I agree. And also <laughs> within, within television, you have to watch your shots. Like probably there were two shots of King Shark, right? There Pretty was like much, a yeah. wide shot. And they might add a close one like, I'm going to kill you, Flash, or whatever. I don't know. Pretty much that was his line. <laughs> well, that's how I would have budgeted it. As a television producer, I would have been like, you've got two shots to make this, and we've got these six dudes on it. Because television is a turnaround. Like yeah. you said, it's a you know 40 weeks, 48 week schedule to make 22 episodes, and they're basically shooting one episode every week. So you have all these people writing the episodes and breaking the story, and then they start to do the animatics for the special effects. Not like a year in advance sometimes or two years in advance with some of these giant movies like Star Wars or Avengers where you have these storyboard artists working on it. Like there's people, look at, look at it this way, Infinity Wars, which isn't even shooting for another year, has already been completely boarded. All the backgrounds are done. All the special effects are being worked on right now. The previs is what it's called, are being worked on right now. And all those people are like, all the characters, are, the little animatics of them moving around are being worked on as like a pre-early render. Speak. As we speak right now, that's what's happening. That's how early they have to get on it to make those gigantic 4K full screen images that are rendered with dust and smoke and, and shadow and all this incredible texture that's all fabricated from nothing. So usually, especially with TV, you also see plates and things like um, probably King Shark was maybe emerging from the shadows from an alley or from some from some real setting that they shot. So they don't have to worry about that. All they have to do is worry about creating a CG <laughs> character, walking into it and getting the shadows and the depth. And, and that's another thing that comes into, uh, into it. I'll end it here, otherwise I can go on for a long time, is render time. It's like to create the reality that we're used to seeing, it's so much more additional lighting and the way the texture and fabric Which adds works. the complication it, of the computations so much compl and so yeah, much it's, render time. It's, and it's not just a computer pressing a button, bloop, it's done. It's all these real humans looking at every single shot, looking at the hair, looking at the... We go back to Planet of the Apes, all those movies. That's why you have to always remember it's, it's an actor doing those movements. It's hundreds of animators making it come to life. So it's that kind of background work that goes into all the movies. Not saying the television that work doesn't go into it it's just done at a faster speed and a lower cost yeah right. so for something like planet of the apes like let's say that movie's two hours the last three minutes of that movie are just watching all the effects people in the credits like that's another yeah, thing no, it really is, is. You, yeah. you have to pay people they clock in and out you have to take a lot of time but there's also just a lot of human beings that have to work on that stuff when i watch tv though it's just like something kind of turns off my head where i'm just more forgiving like because like, i you know if like agents of shield when i saw the premiere of agents of shield i was pretty impressed with how well they did the effects on that something like 24 or lost it's like yeah it doesn't look as good as it would on the big screen but you kind of give it a break because we get to see those characters every week hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider